right guys, so I'm going to start off first. I haven't had any makeup on. I don't have any makeup on. I just quickly did my lashes though because I always do them before. If you guys have watched my other videos, you know I mention that all the time. So I'm just going to start off with this NYX eyeshadow base. I'm just going to go ahead and rub that all throughout my li lids. The eyeshadow I'm going to be using today is just this little black gold thing. I got this from a friend a long, long time ago. I think it's Mica, Mica Cosmetics, Mica Bella. Mica. I do not know. I know they actually opened this brand in one of the malls here around my house, but I'm not exactly sure what the name and I think it is like Mica Bella or something. You can you can't even see a thing, but. It's pretty old, but I only use this on special events, and tonight it is my friend's birthday, and we're going to go clubbing tonight, so that's when I'm going to use it. I'm going to also use a bit of the Morphe palette. Um, I don't know what color. I'm probably going to use this color here. I'm just going to add that all throughout my lids. It's pretty much my own skin tone. I just kind of want the gold to really pop out. Another good way, if you really want that gold to pop, or any eyeshadow or shimmery colors is to wet your brush a little and then go ahead and dab it on and that will actually make the color a lot brighter and the shimmer to stand out whatever color you're going to be using so that was really quick I like to do really simple quick looks so it is powdery so once I open it up I don't want it all to come out me let me see if you guys can somewhat tell that's how it pretty much looks like. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab this brush. I'm going to wet it just a tiny bit, not too much. And all I'm going to be doing is just, just just stabbing a little onto there. And then quickly applying it just on this lid part. So not up here, just the lid. So let me go wet it real quick. What I usually like to do is I dump a bit out onto the cap just so I don't pick up too much and make a huge mess. I'm so messy when it comes to these like loose shadows. So I don't know if you guys can tell, I just picked some up and I'm just gonna go apply it all throughout my lid. So this is pretty much how it looks right now, all the gold. Alright, so now I have both lids covered in that gold. What I'm going to go ahead and do next is with the Morphe palette, I'm just going to kind of somewhat blend in the outer part here. I'm going to do a quick little like V shape and then just blend the rest all out up here. Just a soft brown just to give it a not too much of a smoky look, but a little more intense and sexier look instead of just the gold. So I'm going to pick up a brown shadow and I think I'm going to... All right, I'm going to use this fourth one down from the palette. I'm just going to use this little brush I have here, kind of add it on and then use another blending brush to really blend that out. So right now, if you could see that, I kind of added some of the V-shape and then just kind of adding it around here. I know it looks ugly and weird right now, but we're going to blend that out later. I'm just going to add it over here now. Make sure you don't get any of the little glitter in your eye because it'll hurt. So this is the little brown I added on. I know it looks gross right now. Do not leave it like that. Do not, do not, do not. I'm going to use this little blending brush and just start blending it. Alright, so now that I have gone and blended the brown into the gold, um, I do go pretty high up just because I feel like I have a lot of space. So as you can see, the brown... Um, 
I started down here and then I started blending all the way up. Now the two brown bone areas, it's still empty. So what I'm just going to go ahead and use is the Physi the Physicians Formula. Um, this is really old, but I'm going to use these two up here to just kind of highlight that area. I'm going to add the rest of my makeup on real quick. And then I'll just show you what I'm going to do in the under like my waterline area because I'm going to add shadow on there too. But I don't want to do it yet until I have completed my whole concealer and all that stuff. I'll probably fast forward through that. If not, I might just skip right to it. I don't want to make this video too long. I just kind of wanted to do a little get ready with me but kind of an eye makeup look. I don't know. We'll see how I end up doing this video. But for now, this is pretty much how the look is going to going to look like. I still am going to add the eyeliner and stuff, so check back in a little. did my whole concealer foundation I baked for a little which you guys saw and the whole translucent powder all over my face you guys can tell that the ends of the shadow kind of got a little messed up because of all this powder I was adding on and stuff so that's fine I'm just gonna go ahead and retouch everything and also I need to add some shadow under the lower lashes so you guys will be able to see that too so I think I'm gonna start off first with I guess the top lids just so I can finish that and get it over with. So I'm just going to add a little more of the glitter to the lid. Now for the lower lash line, I am just going to grab some of the glitter and I'm going to add it halfway and then the rest of the second half of that, I am going to do kind of the dark brown so it kind of blends in together. So, I'm grabbing this little skinny brush here and just start putting it under my lower lashes. I'm and that is pretty much the finished look. It's very dramatic. Now I'm going to finish the rest of my face so you guys can see the final result. So this is the final look. Finally somewhat curled my hair. These curls are probably going to last for another 30 minutes. The good thing is I'm not leaving until like another 30. Maybe an hour depends on when my boyfriend comes. But I somewhat curled it. I'm going to add more hairspray so it lasts all night. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Just kind of straightened and then just waved mostly the ends. Kind of curled them. But they're going to fall so I, that's why I call them waves. I love the gold shimmer. I love, love, love it. It goes great with any eye color, too, by the way, and skin tone. So you guys can all try it out. And, yeah, I just chose this gold ring that I wore for New Year's and the simple gold bracelet I had. And I still have this necklace that I usually always wear. Don't know if I'm going to change it up. Might just keep it. I don't want to... I don't know. I'm just keeping it kind of simple tonight. But I wanted to make sure my makeup was on point. So, yeah. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to share it. Don't forget to subscribe and leave it down in the comments. Leave some comments down below if you guys have any other ideas you guys want me to do. Any makeup looks you guys want to see so I can practice them and film them for you guys. 
Um, I have been getting requests to make videos in Spanish. I'm still not sure. I might try one just to see how it would go, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. And of course, I'll leave everything linked down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You guys will probably see a picture of my boyfriend and I for tonight, the final look. So yeah, that is pretty much it. See you guys next time. Bye.